a day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. An hour of wolves and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight by all that you hold dear on this good earth. I bid you stand, men of the West! Hello, everybody. I'm the Last Pretender, and uh, we're on turn 41 of our playthrough as M.A. Man uh, in our Redemption series. So, uh, so far, things have been going okay. I changed my shirt to a green one because a uh, man, uh, and I just didn't want to have, you know, Game of Thrones shirt on all the time uh, for M.A. Man. So, let's go ahead and hop on. Although, I think a, 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 not an, not an inaccurate description of... Uh, of Dominions is it's like fantasy Game of Thrones, which it kind of can be sometimes. Uh, so, more thrones being claimed. Human sacrifice, so we got some blood. That's cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who that is. But, uh, so we do some more site searching. We're finding some stuff. Uh, Nest of City Snakes. I don't even know what that is. I'm actually kind of curious. What is that? Air gems, nice. Uh, so, uh, Ulm is is doing some stuff, and now we're gonna see Ulm is gonna cast uh, another another big fat spell. I uh, find some some gem deposits. So, uh, lots of lots of site searching going on. We're gonna continue to dance around with uh, Airmore. You can see that he's gonna send some troops to go attack, whatever. Um, nothing really terribly interesting there. Um, that's just a matter of cleanup. Um, we've got, uh, Marignan and Ulm. Uh, is this a sizable battle? No, this is not... Both. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is. Oh, yeah, we do see Marignan whipping out, uh, these guys, these Harbingers. Um, but... And that's gonna help him, you know. He's gonna be able to do some stuff as he casts Mist Form and that sort of thing. Let's see if he wins this fight. I think he should. Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. Uh, we've got continued battles with Jotunheim and Naba. Uh, a little nothing there. Is he trying to... Gym bait? Gym baiting's not as good. This is after the patch that made gym baiting not as good. I was actually going to do a whole uh, video on gym baiting, but that one actually got scrapped halfway through doing it because they patched so that gym baiting wasn't as common. Uh, I'm curious. Was he trying to? Let me take a look at his guy. No. No, he wasn't. I don't think he was. Uh, again, we've got this constant war between End and Bandar Log. There's no way that's what I clicked. Um, I guess it is. Whatever. That's weird. But, uh, I keep I'm doing a great job. But, um, let's see if you make it happen. Oh, probably not. Yeah, that's probably gonna die, huh? Yeah, this is probably gonna die. Let's see. Mm. Nope, his defense skill's holding out. He's got that, uh, repel. I'm surprised. He's gonna do it. He's gonna win it. That's crazy. He almost died though. Huh. That's crazy. But he almost died and lost a lot of stuff. I mean, you can see, right? He took a lot of damage, but he's gonna live this time. Uh, so that's good for him. Let's take a look at this Jotunheim versus Nabal battle. Uh, nope. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, a little nothing going on there. Again, we've got this dance going around with uh, Airmore. Uh, I got another Knight of Stone, which is good. Those are good things to have. Very helpful. Um, and that's sort of where we are. Again, uh, during this time frame, I'm trying to negotiate with Ashdod to be like, hey, man, don't come fucking with my stuff. Uh, and ultimately, he does 
uh, back off. It's just he hasn't responded yet. And uh, we can see Ulm is winding up to, to have his big assault on Marinya. And we can also see that uh, Jotunheim is beginning to push pretty fiercely. Um, let me take a look here at uh, this. So, I don't know if I if I saw the battle or if Nabash showed it to me. But particularly after uh, after all these riches from below or whatever it's called. Is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, riches from beneath um, gets cast and that sort of thing. Um, uh, Ulm gets just out of control. They get a ton of income. They've got a bunch of provinces. They're going to be generating a ton of... Uh, gems like this is a serious issue now fortunately i can leverage that diplomatically um to get people to join my side and go to war against them though uh there's the obvious problem that if i do win a war we do win the war against them i think there's a non-zero chance that a coalition is going to form against me and we're going to see how loyal the buy is hopefully he's, he seems like a good guy but we'll see uh now as i was saying and this may have happened um really not sure but basically you can see there are some drops in armies uh from naba and what effectively happens is right around the time i made this deal with naba and kind of forged an alliance with him he starts losing he starts losing a bunch of battles um and the reason is is that uh jotunheim gets turbo communions online so if you don't know what a turbo communion is sort of a rough idea let's go ahead and take a look at the pretenders uh here we go is what you do is you get some scrotty right you werewolf form them and uh they have blood magic right uh where wait oh they have blood magic right so you werewolf them blood magic you put them in a blood sabbath and because they're as werewolves they have hp regeneration they're pretty tanky um what you can do is you can have like four uh scrotty basically fuel like five or six or i don't know what the exact number is but a certain number of um of death mages that you can uh, put up uh i believe it's these ladies that they're gonna use yeah of uh of of these ladies here um and they can just spam out horde skeletons horde skeletons horde skeletons horde skeletons horde skeletons forever because um the way it works is that at 100 fatigue right because in a communion you spread the fatigue out amongst the slaves at 100 fatigue the uh someone goes unconscious over 200 fatigue they start to take damage but the fatigue is going to be spread out sufficiently and the hp regeneration on the scrotty is going to be such that uh they'll never they'll never tap out they'll never die and so they can just keep regenerating that hp and you can just keep spamming it out so uh that's basically what happens with the turbo communion and uh jotunheim gets him online and we're gonna see he's gonna start really battering back um naba in this and actually march on the boss cap so that's sort of unfortunate um i don't know exactly when this occurs but it will happen very soon if not if it hasn't already happened so but anyway that's turn 41 uh let's go ahead and hop on over to turn 42, shall we? Turn 42. Boom. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, a lot more site searching going on. Right? A lot of site searching happening. So that's all very good. Uh, yeah. So, a lot of cool stuff being found there. Now we see a big battle at Marignan. Um, this is just the province defense, so this is nothing. Um can see boom they kill a bunch of stuff the black priests i don't know it's kind of amusing to watch the black priests fucking kill everything let's see if i can find that guy who has that banner i don't know one of you has it and i don't know which of you it is uh this is a lot of uh dudes here though interesting who is the one that has the banner
One of them has it, because they're casting Lucky, and I don't know who it is. Uh, as I mentioned before, Guts won the banner um, in a, uh, in a an arena. He won the banner. So... Alright, I guess I'll just never find it. I don't know who has this frickin' banner, but someone does. Haven't the slightest as to who it could be. Oh, hold, hold on. There's actually a way to tell, because I'm stupid. Um, let's see here, it's gonna say... Oh, it just automatically cast it? It doesn't even say? I don't know. Somebody has it. I'll never deduce who it is. But anyway, somebody has this banner. Jeez, look at this. <laughs> Iron Blizzard, everybody. <laughs> oh no! I don't want anything to do with this. Oh, this is the most horrifying thing that's ever happened. Oh man, I am not looking forward to having to mess with this. Oh god, I mean that is 27 smiths though. But, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, so anyway, so we got some, some good events going on. So we like that. Uh, so th there is an arena coming around. Um, anyway, we still got our guys dancing around. Uh, and you can see I've actually finally sent a message to Ash Todd uh, this turn. To be like, hey, Ashton, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop being weird. Um, so, I've got that going on. Moving my troops around, casting more stuff, and I'm going to prepare for a death match. And I'm going to send in Rihanna. So, let me tell you my thought process for this death match. Because we're using a better arena, so like winning the arena is actually very helpful. Um, it's, it's a really good thing to do. So, my thought process for this was I give her a shield because she needed one, and this is kind of the best one I had. It's not a great shield uh, to fight, to duel other heroes with, but it's okay. Um, I decided to go with the hero to keep her hero's blade open because it does three times the damage to giants, and I thought my most likely opposition, you know, I mean, you got Jotunheim who are going to be bigger than her, you've got Naba who've got units that are going to be bigger than her, and you've got Ashdod who've got units who are going to be bigger than her. So that's what I was kind of thinking about as far as that goes. Um, some black steel. Uh, full plate because otherwise she doesn't have any body armor on <sighs> She doesn't have a helmet which is sort of unfortunate. I should have given her a helmet so she doesn't get one shot But uh, I didn't do I have a helmet? I don't so that's why I didn't do that uh, I got her a, a dancing trident to give her an extra attack, right? You want to have a I, I wanted to have a lot of attacks to try and burn down someone's uh, skills and kind of harass them a little bit and with uh, With 23 defense, I kind of felt like it seemed possible and then my big winner is uh, I decided to bring the bottle of water with me that I'd gotten from an event earlier. Uh, so she is going to be set to hold for a couple rounds and then attack afterwards. With the idea being that the water elemental is going to come in first and attack and maybe harass a little bit, maybe do some damage. And then she'll come in unopposed and be able to just get her attacks off. And hopefully her, blade of, her hero's blade is going to be sufficient to kill. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um... So, yeah, we've got some research going on. Um, I ended up casting Mother Oak. I don't remember who it was that done it. Who did it? Oh, yeah. See, I named her Mother Oak. Because I'm, I'm a thinker that way. So she cast Mother Oak. That's why I made the, um, the bracelet. So that way I could give her a... Um, I made the Moonbind bracelet so I could give her a Thistle Mace and a bracelet and then have her cast Mother Oak. I took it off of her, obviously, this turn. But last turn, that's what I did. Um, so now my gem income should be pretty pretty nice at 25 gems per month of Nature Gems. So that's pretty pretty good there. 10 gems of, of air. Our Water Gems starting to climb. Starting to get quite a few Water Gems. We're going to have to think about that. And then Death Gems are going to be, be popping off. Now, we did get Mort and Rotheart here. I didn't show this earlier, but I mean, I showed a little bit, but uh, I had Grace Kelly summon uh, two revenants, and that's these two. I want to say that I actually had her do three. I guess I had her do two. Uh, yeah, I had her do two revenants um, so that I could cast Dark Knowledge. And Rothard is actually going to go ahead. I gave him a, a, a Skull Scepter so that he can summon a third. 
and then they're gonna just start uh, sight searching all this area remotely to try and get my death income up because death magic is pretty strong uh, and all magic you want you want as much magic as you can of all the different colors so uh, that's what you want you know so yeah that's basically it Rihanna's gonna go ahead and go fight in this uh, arena it doesn't say that she is but I, I can tell you right now she's gonna go compete in the death match so uh, yeah, that's basically turn uh, 42. Let's go ahead and hop on over to turn 43. Turn 43. That's the wrong game. Turn 43. Kaboom. Okay. So first, uh, we did a whole bunch of site searching. And sometimes we found stuff and sometimes we didn't. Uh, now, let's go ahead and take a look at the big battle in Marignan. Marignan is going to go ahead and launch it, his attack out. Um... And, uh, away we go. Jeez. My Northern Star got cast. So that's good for him. Look at all these spells. Oof. A lot of fire elementals coming in. You can see a lot of evocation magic getting thrown around. Blade Wind is really good against elementals, by the way. You can see it hitting sometimes, just shredding the elementals. I mean, this is a much better fight, I think, as far as setup goes from Marignan. But I think it's too little too late. Marignan's just got way too much stuff going on. I find it interesting that he didn't bring his god out in this fight. I would've. I mean, this is... This is this is the time you bring your god out. Um, you gotta pull out all the stops, I think. But, yeah, it's pretty much just um, a total slaughter. Whew. Casting a lot of stuff here. Um, so if we take a look here, you know, still a lot of kills, right? A lot of Black Plate Infantry did die to that. Um, the Black Priest killing a lot of stuff same thing with black acolytes right like you, you gotta have answers for these uh these spellcasters and stuff like iron blizzard and stuff just has to be dealt with um huge losses 22 witch hunters 17 witch hunters died jeez that's a lot that's a lot uh i don't really have anything else to say other than that this is just bad man this is just all bad so there we go. But again, you know, some losses getting uh, felt by uh, by Alm, but oof. Pretty spookifying. Uh, now, here is an important battle. Wherein we see the uh, the powerful sieging force of the Yotster. And yeah, this is his... Uh... No, this isn't a Turbo Communion. I don't know where his Turbo Communion is. But... Uh, going up against um, the god, that of which um, the Bob put out there, and kind of a risky move to see if he could defeat this army at his capital. And uh, we'll slow it down. So let's go ahead and watch. You can see a lot of skeletons are gonna get spawned, but like I don't understand why his Scrotty aren't here. I don't really understand what happened as far as that's concerned. Uh, but yeah, they're gonna go ahead and encircle his god. And his god's gonna cast spells like Gift from Heaven and uh, Shockwave and that kind of stuff. And just kill huge swaths of dudes. Blade Wind coming in. Um, and uh, you can see he's an innate spellcaster, yeah? Yeah, he's an innate spellcaster. And he gave himself the uh, Girdle of Might to keep his fatigue low. And uh, basically. Um, they're gonna throw themselves against him, and, uh, he's gonna win. Right? You can see he's not taking, like, any damage, and he's just killing hordes. Um, and eventually a mass route is gonna be caused by this, so. Yep. Uh, so a tremendously bad battle for Jotunheim. Uh, very bad for him, as he's gonna lose a ton of stuff. Uh, and Bob basically loses nothing. Now, now, 
I say it's tremendously bad. It's not as bad as it could have been, right? I mean, he lost 90 dudes, which is significant. But he didn't lose any of his casters. So, like, eh, as far as things go, it's not that bad. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Um, again, you can see some nonsense I'm doing with Aaron Moore because I'm still trying to talk to him. I lost 10 knights here. To these dang lictors. Right? That's very frustrating. Let's see here. Now these these lictors are obviously not as big of a deal. Oh, they still have a lot. They still have a lot of stuff, but they don't have like their regeneration and stuff like that because uh, their god died. But they still have a pretty decent plus. Yeah, but you can see like wither bones coming in. Yeah, you can see it just cutting through swaths of them. So, you know that hurt a lot more than I wanted it to. Losing 10 Knights of Avalon does suck. That's like two turns worth of recruits from my cap, but that's how it goes. Uh, anyway, so we do we do feed, beat uh, his final sort of large army of Aramor. Um, so that's good news. Um, we got a bunch of random events happening. Uh, most of them pretty good. Lots of gold. Heck yeah. Man, I gotta tell you. Whew, I do love, uh, I do love luck. It's incredible. So here's our first uh, battle. We've got uh, we've got this guy of uh, of Van Heim, the stupid elf, right? Doesn't have any items. And uh, this nightmare beast who has a weapon that does 42 damage on hit and causes fear in an area effect of five. Jeez. Um, so and he's lucky and oh god. So yeah, let's see how he absolutely violates this elf. I assume. If I recall correctly. He breathes fire too, by the way. Because that's what he does. Mm, okay. Alright. So yeah, he did 40-something damage in one hit. Is that what I saw? Yeah, just 47 damage. No big deal. Uh, not a big deal. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, so that's good. Good for him. Uh, then let's go ahead and take a look at the next battle we have. Which is going to be uh, Ishtad's Giant versus this uh, Nightmare Beast. Now, Ishtad's Giant just has the uh, the plate and nothing else. So, let's see how that goes. Um, some, some spells are coming down, though, from him. He's going to get Temper Flesh going and uh, Iron Skin to get his, his armor up. But it's really not enough. Um, but, you know, Holy Avengers coming in. And this is actually an interesting fight, I remember, because uh, the Holy Avenger gets that 19 damage off, which was kind of surprising. And I think, does it wound him? Yeah, it gives him a uh, weakened. It actually gives him weakened. Um, so this is actually a really close fight, uh, believe it or not. Uh, he's like basically fatigued out at this point from all the spells he cast. But he's going to regenerate some HP. But the weakened, I think, actually hurt him pretty bad. I think if he wasn't weakened, he might have died. And eventually, interestingly enough, he does get killed by... Uh, Holy Avenger, or whatever that's called. So, yeah, Ashdod, to no one's surprise, <laughs> is a pain in the butt. Uh, so then Ashdod's going to go ahead and fight Jotunheim. Jotunheim just sent a hag, just in case nobody else sent anything. And he's going to animate some skeletons. Um, but that is just in no way going to be sufficient to deal with this. Yeah. There you go. All right, he's gonna come murder this guy. Yeah, it's, this just isn't gonna cut it, Hag. Boop. Okay. And then we've got uh, Rihanna. Our beautiful girl, Rihanna. So here comes her, uh, so, so honestly, like, as far as things go, this is about as good as it could have gone for Rihanna. Like, this is her optimal opponent. Um, low equipment, um, a giant with not a lot of equipment, right? That's kind of optimal for her. Um, so, here comes, uh, the water elemental. Put on fast. Uh, the water elemental's gonna hit it and actually get some good damage in because, um, Crush is actually armor piercing. So, she's gonna come in on the side and get a big hit with that, that sword right there. And, uh, the water elemental's gonna be tanking. And guess what? Where my single lady's at? Uh, Rihanna's gonna go ahead and get the kill. And we got, 
Um, Staff from the Sun. Which is a very good item. The the staff. The the, the staff. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Pretty hyped about that. Uh, so in case you're not sure. That is going to give you a lot of cool stuff. But in particular, a plus one to fire magic. Um, so that's real nice. Ugh. Ugh. Mmm. Man. That plus one to fire magic is nice, and then it's got some 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 range on it. This is a nice item. This is a nice freaking item we got. Um, really helpful too, because we can uh, we're gonna be able to put it on guys to do site searching and stuff. Uh, so do I even start? Yeah, I even start recruiting some duders, um, trying to get some fire mages going. Right, and, and also too because um, because Grace Kelly here is gonna be able to forge the um, the skull of flames or whatever it's called. Skull of Fire. And so that's going to be helpful. Um, yeah. What else we got going on? So we've got Marignan's about to fall. And basically, Statis is gone. Statis got eight all the way up. So I decided this province is way too close to my capital. And I wanted it for a long time. And now it's going to be mine. And that's just the end of that conversation. Um, so here comes a big army. Um, you can see I prepped it with... Uh, I've got Maws of the Earth coming down, because that can kill a big wave of, uh, of undead. And pretty soon, um, with my research, I'm going to hit Alteration 7 next turn, in fact. And I'm going to switch over from Maws of the Earth to cast uh, uh, Fog Warriors. So Fog Warriors combined with Mass Protection... Oh, oh no, that's right. I'm doing Serpent's Blessing. Because I know he's going to... It's a test. You know he's going to do Foul Vapors. So, Fog Warriors with uh, some Serpent's Blessing, I think is going to be enough to take this. I don't think that these Marsh Masters are going to be able to stop me. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're moving some uh, some priesty guys around. Try to get a little bit more research points in. Um, our income is okay, but it's not great. We're going to do some more recruitment. And that's really all I got going on. I got Wolfred and, and company here. Uh, and they're going to be spreading out, kind of reinforcing in various ways. Uh, because I'm going to have to go to war with Jotunheim. I don't want to go to war with Jotunheim. But it looks like I'm going to have to go to war with Jotunheim. Because Nabod just didn't cut it for me like I wanted him to. Now Nabod's going to take like a lot of territory here. Uh, but this is kind of an issue. Anyway, and he's got these, he's got these nightmarish um, turbo communions running around. We, I don't know if we ever seen one fight yet, but uh, yeah, and that's really all we got going on. So I think now is a wonderful time for us to hop on over to uh, to turn forty four. Don't see anything else other than just we're gonna go ahead and try and vulture this province, which I mean, realistically, I mean Vanheim can't stop that. Benheim can fight me. Uh, stupid elves. Um, so anyway, so we got a message from Ashdod, and he's just like, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, nap three. <laughs> so that was good news. So I was very happy to see that. Now we can see a lot more site searching coming in. Mudfield, that's good. Um, we didn't find a ton. But, uh, lots of site searching going on, which is going to be important. And I thought this was cute of Ashdod. He's like, oh yeah, I agree, nap three. And then he dispels my global. He dispels my my mother oak. He just kills it. It's 50 gems. I just lost. Well, I think I had it up for two or three turns. So, uh, so you know, you know, instead of I only cast the minimum there, so I only lost like 30 gems. But still, it's kind of kind of rude. Jerk. Get some dark knowledge cast. Um. Anyway, uh, so we have our battle against the Tis. Uh, so you can see a lot of guys here. Nothing too fantastical. And he's got a lot of Marsh Masters that are going to cast Heart of the... Uh, uh, not Heart of the Swarm. They're going to cast, um... Yeah, there's... There's that. Now, I did get Serpent Blessing off. So that's good. So my dudes aren't dying. I mean, some of them are getting a little poisoned. But they're mostly okay. Um, and, uh, yeah. Horde of Skeletons coming in hard and fast. And, uh... Yeah.
Uh, but at the end of the day, I just got a lot of freaking dudes. Yeah. I just got a lot. Some of my knights are trying to get into the rear there. But really, uh, this is just too many guys. Uh, and the poison resist is just too good. Um, that my guys are going to be able to just cut through this. Yep. Sorry, undead. Not enough. So, a good old victory here. Um, and, uh, I mean, we do lose some guys, but not a lot. You know, seven Marsh Masters, Masters is no small amount. I mean, that's well over a thousand uh, Trooper Roopers right there. So, could have been a lot worse. Um, and, uh, that's good. Uh, over here, uh, we have Olm's final push into Marinia. Which, I mean, he's got a bajillion guys. So, we'll just go ahead and fast forward to that. He's casting all kinds of stuff. I mean, these dudes are buffed to Kingdom Come. I mean, they've got, uh, 26 protection. No, he didn't cast, like, uh... Yeah, he's casting stuff, right? He's casting... It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure he cast, uh, Iron Warriors. Legions of Steel, I mean. That's not mine. Uh, Legions of Steel. So, yeah, he's casting Legions of Steel, so that's why they have 26 protection. Right. There's gotta be somebody who doesn't have it. Probably somebody on the end. Oh, never mind. Okay, so everybody probably has it. So, um, whatever. The point is, is that uh, these dudes are super jacked. He's gonna be throwing a million spells out there, and he's gonna kill everything under the sun. Did that just? Did he just snipe his god with the with the evocation magic? Pretty uncommon. I think he did. Let's watch. <laughs> Arrows, actually. The bows of war, man. Uh, but yeah. This is another slaughter. Alm is gonna stomp on Marignan's face some more. And, uh, that's basically the entirety of, of everything. Yep, there they go. They're gonna kill those two. These dudes are gonna run. Do do do, And that's it. Now, some losses were taken again, but, like, not a lot. Uh, five Master Smiths is nice to see them die. So, so we're seeing some dudes die, at least. So that's good news, but not a lot. Um, and yeah, that's the end of Marignan, pretty much. Uh, we got some unexpected events happening. Uh, we got a, a, another, we got an Earth Gnome. That's cool. Got some gems. Um... Uh, our bard got found and killed in Jotunheim, which is sort of a bummer. Um, we're going to tear down that fort. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tear down this fort. So we're going to finish taking out uh, the rest of Marignan, which is nice. And, uh, you know, whether or not he likes it, uh, Vanheim just has to be cool with the fact that this is my fort. Uh, I tried to negotiate with Vanheim to ultimately get this province as well. Uh, and Vanheim legitimately threatened to go to war with me over it. And whether or not he would or wouldn't, mm, debatable. But I figured, sure, I'll be nice. Uh, because I want to go to war with all. And this province really isn't, it's not worth all the hubbub. But I think it had like some nice gems or something. I don't know. But anyway, this, this has got some good gems here. This has got some good gems, right? I mean, three gems a turn for, for Sleeping Mountains. Mm. And, you know, it's a nice little province that, uh, is near my uh it's gonna act as a fort near my my cap so pretty much super into that i should probably fort somewhere here -ish. i actually think i should build a fort like like here or something i don't know i could be convinced but i'm not sure uh in any event you can see all my forces are beginning to funnel in to uh to Tykea here to prepare for our invasion of uh of jotunheim as jotunheim is still pushing against airmore and uh, doing lots of good work there. So on that note, let's hop on over to turn uh, 45, right? Um, whew, boy, lots of stuff going on there. Um, so yeah, you can see a lot of stuff happening. Uh, some evocation got researched. We went ahead and uh, did a whole bundle of site searching. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So 
Well, I searched and found some good stuff. You know, um, the boss made himself a new prophet. A lot of site searching, mostly not terribly useful. Uh, we finally get to see some of the Satis Vanheim battles, I think. Nope, that's not one of them. Is this one of them? Uh, yes it is. So this is actually a Satis Vanheim battle. Um, so, but these guys have poison resist, don't they? They do, yeah. Quagmire, interesting, yeah. So we can see this big fat battle going on. And lots of horde of skeletons coming in. That is a whole bunch. Um, and eventually these elves, I'm pretty sure, just get overrun. Yeah, they, they can't handle this business. Stupid elves. Um, so we can see the Satis still fighting hard. And this is kind of why I was like, Vanheim, you can bite me because your army is not man enough to handle me. Like, like... 42 you like 42 units to go take the cap come on man i <laughs> like your army ain't man enough to handle me like get get out of here with that so um stupid elves anyway uh you can see there's a uh assassination i believe no he's just poking stuff um anyway we do finally take uh the final province of airmor um so airmor and marignan die at the same turn uh completely some more random events happened. A little more gold, which we're always excited about. Um, starting to cure some diseases, because I gave uh, uh, Withorn here. Um, the, uh, I forget what it's called. Miraculous Cure-All Elixir. So, we're going to go ahead and take that. We've basically negotiated a piece um, with Vanheim, and we've got a Nap 3. Though, I, I don't know, I thought it was kind of sleazy where he threatened to break his Nap 3. To take this province from me and i'm like it's not your province and he's like it's my spoils and i'm like I don't, I don't see your flag on it but okay uh but anyway i did take this and he really he really wanted this province and i was kind of like all right man uh so I, I i i would be surprised if he doesn't start scheming against me to be honest with you hopefully naba will be cool about it and not try to murder me um but I'm also hoping that he's rubbed enough people the wrong way, old Vanheim, that he won't uh, try to stab. That uh, other people won't be excited to, to join him. But in any event, uh, we're going to go ahead and gather this army back on over to here. We're still recruiting some troopers, I think. No. But uh, yeah, this is where we're building up our big our big invasion force to go push against um, the, 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 the mighty forces of... Uh, of Jotunheim. Otherwise, not a lot else is going on. Um, as far as research goes, uh, we're going to want to get Construction 7 just because it gives you like like Golem Construct and Weapons of Sharpness. And those are both things that I'm going to desperately want at some point in time. Conjuration 6 is important because that's whenever we get Flame Spirit, if I'm correct. Yeah, uh, Flame Spirit, right? Which is basically going to get us into fire pretty hardcore. So, I would like to have that happening uh, as soon as possible. Um, Enchantment 8 is because we're going to get an awesome, awesome spell of Mass Regeneration. Right? We've already got Fog Warriors, and uh, we've got the uh, Serpent's Blessing uh, Foul Vapors combo. Put that and Fog Warriors along with Mass Regeneration and Mass Protection. Woof! Man, that's going to turn our guys up to 11 as fighting prowess goes, especially if we start bringing in uh, dudes with weapons of sharpness on them. That is going to be a big freaking deal. Uh, still recruiting as many unicorns as we can. Um, forging all kinds of stuff. What are you forging? Uh, I have no idea. But, uh, whatever. I also, at this point in time, kind of had a, a thought because I was concerned about... Uh, I was concerned about these turbo communions, about maybe doing something with like uh, one of my revenants, wherein I give them a scepter and a crystal matrix, and I use them to cast wither bones against uh, against Jotunheim. It was a thought I had, uh, but yeah, that's what we got going on right now. Uh, we finished killing off Aramor. Uh We're gonna take a little bit of a province from uh, Satis. 
So things are going okay. We're doing all right. And uh, we're now uh, soon preparing to commence our war against uh, the Frost Giants of Jotunheim. So things should be pretty interesting. Um, but that's all I've got for uh, this episode. So I'm the last pretender. And I'll see you guys next time.